welcome back to the show. We are here at the Orlando Science Center, going through the entrance. There he is. There he is. Let's go check it out. They've got a, a rescue exhibit, which I thought I would check out being a former EMT. So let's go check it out. So this is our first time here to the Orlando Science Center. They've got multiple uh, stories. I think they got five. <laughs> they've got five stories for us to check out. We got to do this in two hours, bud, because they close at five. We're here yeah, about three o'clock. Whoa! Oh my god. Yeah, well, let's go to the exhibits and then we'll go play. Okay. All right. We need socks for that. Oh, that's true. You probably need socks and you're wearing your uh, handy dandy crops, huh? Well, we'll see. We'll see. We might not need socks. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go take a look. Oh. That's true. Do you have what it takes to be a hero? Let's take a look. Oh, downstairs. You want to go downstairs first? Yeah. All right, we'll start on the first floor and work our way up. Oh, oh my gosh, there's fish. There's fish? Yeah, let's, let's see the fish. Turtle. It's a turtle. Whoa, those are big fish. Yeah, see the turtle? I do see it. Yeah. Let's keep going. To the Nature Works exhibit. What do we got? Whoa, look at all of them just hanging out on the rock. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them and all the turtles. That's pretty funny. <laughs> look at that one's just like staring at us. Hey, what are you looking at? He's looking at me. Oh boy, he loves aquariums. Yeah, I love looking at fish. Yup. Maybe one of these days we'll get an aquarium for your room. Yeah. Oh, you want to get this for your room? Yeah, because I want like a small, like a small tank full of fish and baby turtles. And maybe you can make Okay. A whole, a whole ecosystem in your room. Opening for the tortoise area, so that my, so that the tortoise, so that my tortoises can like, can like walk around the house. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that they don't like board or anything. And maybe some babies. Oh, okay. Very, very uh. Got it. None of those. Okay. We did find a lizard in the house the other day, so oh, yeah. we've got it started. Oh my gosh, they have an exhibit on sinkholes. What? Look at this is a sinkhole. Wait, These happen sinkhole? quite frequently. What's a sinkhole? So a sinkhole happens when like the water underneath, for example. Uh, I can okay. I can fit. I can fit. Squirrel. Yeah, they're hanging out. What's with this one? Like he's cuddling up against a bone. Oh, there he goes. He's like, don't bother me. That is it. There it is. That's this a is a Florida snake. pine snake. Look, he's gonna climb up the top. Whoa. Mom, I never seen a real snake before. Whoa. I never seen a snake. Where's he going? Wow. I think this is going to the top. Yeah, he, I bet you he's he's planning. He's, he's planning his escape, huh? How big is it? Look at it. It goes all the it's way a back there. Snake. It's a pine snake, Mom. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look how big he is. Wow, how big. He's still going. It's still going. Look at it. He's going all back there. He's so long. Okay, it's getting smaller. Oh my gosh. It's getting smaller. How long do you think he is? Oh, I see his toes. See it? See it through that? See it? There it is. Yeah. 
so he go, he went all the way over here. Man, this has to be like at least a four or five footer. Maybe four feet, five feet. This one is an eastern indigo snake, also non-venomous, but he's not moving. He's just hanging out. Although I would be like scared of this one because he's so prominent with the patterns. These are like, these are aggressive patterns to me. And as well as like the onyx color of the snake, he's aggressive. Let's go check out the rescue exhibit, shall we? Wanna do it? This one? Let's go check it out. Yeah. Oh man, looks like we've got some urban search and rescue going on here. Oh look, we got some smoke here. What do you think's happening with the smoke? Uh oh. That's a fire. Very good. Move slowly through the exhibit to avoid obstacles. Charlie! Oh man, you can't see anything in here. Let's go. No, 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 no. I'm trying to start. I hate the dark. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I don't want to come in. You don't have to, I, oh, never mind, it's not that dark. Oh, no, 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 no. Here it goes. No, Mom, no, I'm not coming in. <laughs> Can we go back and start? Oh, get no, down low. No, no. Get down low, go, 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 go. That was easy. <laughs> just put me right in my face. Oh my goodness, it wasn't as dark as we thought. So we've got extraction. There's certain points on the vehicle that you that you cut the car to extract people from them. Witness this a few times. Running calls for 911 on the ambulance in California. It's pretty amazing what these guys can do and the technology that we have to get people into to help them out of these cars that are just completely crumbled. So cars are built, touch any car, it's a rescue. Cars are built to crumble, actually, and a lot of the times cars look a lot worse than what the patients look like inside. Let's do, let's do the green one. This is a four-wheel drive, four-door petrol powered. Let's do that. Okay, so, draw your cut lines into the car to start cutting. Watch out for those. Drag a cut line from outside of the car onto the panels to cut. Uh, so, drawing the cut lines like like here is that what they mean like you draw it there oh oh I'm just look that's not where I want to cut I want to cut it here oh there we go he's not like uh, trapped in there the door can just open Oh, cool, airbag inflator contains high pressure canister. So these are the hazards that they're talking about. Oh, I see. See right there, right there, right there. What's the green? Seat belt pretensioner contains high tension springs. Right there, what's this? Access target, pillar scene, areas around pillars for removal. Okay, wait a minute, so right there. Oh, yeah, and then we got it. So while he's doing this anyway, um, cars are meant to crumble. They have crumple zones, and it's meant to absorb the impact from a crash, which is why you can walk away from a vehicle even though it looks like a crushed can sometimes. Sometimes. Now, um, they may have changed the safety protocols, but um, generally, if you have spidering on the window or you have indentation... Um, on the door where the patient was of more than 12 inches, I believe, um, that constitutes a trauma trauma response. And so there's a different set of uh, medical response that's required Mom, when you notice this on a vehicle. So that's how you can tell the difference of the uh, severity of the, um, I guess, medical condition of a patient based off of what the car looks like. And then after that, you can also uh, tell by the actual patient's symptoms, signs and symptoms, and their response level to you. So there's a whole process that we go through uh, when we're rescuing people from uh, vehicles like this. It's pretty cool. 
talk to your local fire department and they'll give you a, a tour of all of their equipment. It's pretty neat. Um, and even the ambulance, um, if you see an ambulance just kind of hanging out, um, feel free to say hello. Um, always wear your mask as usual for our, um, our rescue and response teams and our EMS teams, but um, be more than happy to show you around the rig and you know, give you a few stickers and stuff like that. Whoa, what happened? Uh oh, electricity short circuit, electrocution risk extreme. Don't cut over there. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Vertical rescue. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> you don't want to do it? What about this side right here? It's a little sloped. It's sloped a little more. It's not straight. You try that one? Yeah, it's not straight up and down. It's sloped. So it's not as bad. No? And squirrel. You are like a squirrel. There you go. Yeah? Start with your right foot. Put your right foot up there. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Good grips. Good grips. Yeah. There you go. You're doing it. You're doing it, Peter! Bang ring! <laughs> Here's what mommy remembers. Press the home button to start. First on scene. What are you doing? First on scene. Let's do first on scene. Go. Lisa, up, up, up. Oh man. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. And you just jumped into the canyon. Oh. Uh, uh, hang on! Hang on, little buddy! I gotcha! <laughs> these are not part of the exhibit. These are real. Do not touch these. Can you find all five Ys? One, two, three, four. And then the other one was up here. Five. Done. Check this out. So this is small magnetite sand. Look at the pattern. It's like a fractal pattern that... There you go. Can you guys see? Let me see if I can get it. There it is. That's cool. It's like a star pattern. Look at the nanoparticles. Look at that. That's so neat. Oh, look, mommy. Mom, look. Look at this one. Hang on. I'll be there in a minute. Slow down. That's really cool. And then, oh my gosh. Whoa, I'm, look at, I'm getting all of it. I got all of it. I did it. Wow. Oh, look at that liquid, that's so cool. And then this is talking to me. This is a topic of discussion that I recently took part in briefly. This is kind of cool. Game playing, expert systems, natural language, neural networks, and robotics. I'm, I'm interested in natural language and the neural network portion of it. We'll discuss that later though. Are you intelligent? What makes you think I am intelligent? Your ability to understand what I say. They type really slow. I'm about like 80 words per minute. They have all of the labels for the parts of a computer. So you got your cooling device, you got your fans all up there. There's what, four of them? One, two, three, there's four fans. You got the motherboard, there's your RAM there, you can see those right there, and your CPUs, and then there's your hard drive. And what else? You got your video card back there, and your power supply, which also has its own fan. Very neat. Either a square or a triangle. Arrange four piece, four puzzle pieces to form a square or triangle. Oh, 
Now, let's see. How can we do this? Square. A square? That's the one you want to do? That's even, this is even a triangle. I know. You don't have to make a triangle. Oh, you don't want to make a triangle? Don't, like, even have to make it. Wait. Mom! Put that right here. Mom! Oh. It doesn't work. Okay. Wait, it doesn't. The other way. This way. No. No. It doesn't oh, work. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it does work. No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Okay. Wait. No, next one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Stop this! You got it wrong! Can I try? No! Oh, over here! Over here! Triangles. Remove four sticks to leave four triangles. Oh boy. So you've got small triangles here, big triangles here. So let's see. To leave four triangles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, see, that would be five six. That wouldn't work. So close. Because you have to move four six. To remove four sticks, so here's a big triangle. One, two, three little triangles. Ta da! Oh, I see. Yeah, this one. how the bridge will collapse, like which area the weight will fall on. It'll fall on these trusses eventually, watch. So move this. Move this one. Oh. See, it fell onto these ones. That's where all the weight is. A spiral oh. or circles? Ah. But see, look, if you start like with this one on the outside, right? Oh. It's still the same one. But it looks like spirals because of the pattern behind it. Want to go to the Poozium? The world famous Poozie. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute though. What is this though? It's fossilized poo. Dung. Yeah. Oh, dung. Oh. Yeah, because if it's dung so it's poo, they don't. <laughs> it's a big poo, actually. Copper lights. Yes. Identifying them by their composition. Who would have thought that this is poo? I mean, I guess like I would look at, look at it compared to other rocks and realize that it's not a rock. It's differently shaped. This one's even got like a bunch of holes in it and everything. Thumbnail. 
Look at the sell? side. Let's see what this one. This one came from a. This dinosaur isn't here. It's crocodilian. There's in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Okay, hang on. Times, 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 times. Hang on. Let me let me do something real quick about the poo. So God, this one is a frog, frog or small mammal, unknown, 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 mammal, and crocodile, and this one is unknown too. And this, this is, is a dino. big one. Oh my gosh! Mom, can we go on the dinosaur it's a carnivorous area? animal. Yes, we will. Yeah, okay, y'all, okay, okay, we're done with the poo. Let's go see the dinos. Can Let's go. Look at the T-Rex. Oh my gosh! Is it moving? So now there's a new theory going around about the T-Rex as to whether or not it actually had wings because of the cage, the, the rib cage here and the arms here and how short the arms are that it might have actually had wings similar to the ostrich. Uh, wait, I can't hear you. What is that? That's a Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus? Okay. What? You put your headphones on because it's kind of loud. It is kind of loud here. Like, it's hard to hear you. So I think oh. that's a good idea. I'm probably going to do that. Oh. What's this one over here? That's a triceratops. That's a, that's a triceratops. That's a pachycephalosaurus. This one's a pachycephalosaurus. How do you know it's a Oh, it rams its head. Oh, I see it here because the skull. Right? Because the skull here? What about this one? Oh, it's another one. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. It's an actual dig. Go for it. What are we what are we finding? A T-Rex. Wow. Oh, they have a bigger brush. There you go. You can have the big brush. Alright, let's do it together. No, you have to use the brushes. Okay. Because don't go don't go too fast or then you'll break your bones. Okay, let me put my headphones on real quick. Okay, okay headphones on. So mom, Let's... don't be too fast, be real careful. Okay, am I doing it right? Yes. Like this? Okay. Also, there's a blower here to like blow everything. Oh, a blower? That's a good tool to have. Yeah, it can clear off your bones. What, well, what piece is that? That's, that's part of the tail. Yeah? Is it like the spine, maybe? No, it's the tail. See, it's discreet. Oh, okay. Still, still. Okay. I'm gonna go control the T-Rex. I'm tired. Oh, boy. Oh, oh man. That's a big... You think it's a raptor? Yeah, it's a raptor. Whoa. You have to match each jaw to the correct skull. So, see, like, here's here's a uh, triceratops oh, skull. I did it. Yeah, I think these are already matched up. Cause see, look at that. Look how well that that goes together. It's chop, chop, chop. Yeah, this one's kind of easy too. Cause look at the teeth. See that? Oh, chop, chop, chop. There you go. Did it here. Oh, the teeth match. It's easier to tell if they have teeth. Mom, can we go back to the dig site? Yes, you can go back to the dig site. Let's go. Let's go back. You can help too. Okay. That's a ginormous T-Rex. Sounds T -Rex. good. This is really big T-Rex. Oh. You are getting distracted. He is so excited. You're getting distracted, <laughs> Let's go to the dig site. Okay. Not here. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see if this thing will fly. I'm not sure. Let's just go in here. Because it's got, let's see, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and the thermosphere. Uh, this is our atmosphere. So let's take a look. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it came out. It came out. It kind of flips what? around. Is that a paper airplane? Yeah, it flips around. Whoa. That's, this is an, this, this even, 
That's how I did it here. Oh. See? Yeah. This is actually just a fish. Oh, okay. No. Whoa. This thing's going to simulate an earthquake. I don't know. The earthquakes that I've felt, especially the 89 earthquake, it feels like somebody's punching your feet underneath. Do it again. I don't think it feels like an earthquake enough because everything else around you isn't swaying. Feels like I'm just like earthquake, earthquake. This exhibit is five stories tall. It goes all the way to the bottom, and then there's the top with the the birds there. But that's where we saw the alligators. Can you see them? Oh, they moved. The store and see what they've got. This is pretty cool. They've got oh, they're squishy. Squishy human body with 21 removable parts. Oh, that's cool. It's got a model and anatomy book. How much is it? It's eight plus 29 pieces. This is neat. Oh, and you like, you like stuff it in there. Let's get this thing. 29.99. Don't get this thing. It's not. Well, I don't think it's a game, baby. It's just for you to discover, like, and learn about the different parts of the body that's inside. Underneath your skin, protected by your skin. Whoa, oh, that's like scream. Ew. Asthma balls and vortex lamps, Newton's cradle here, cosmic energy, kinetic sculptures, levitators. Oh, this is cool. They have like. Mom, his lenses are out. Bring faraway objects into view. It's a pocket scope. That's neat. Oh. Oh. Got all kinds of cool shirts. Oh my goodness, what is this? The sloth. They've got all kinds of shirts and stuff there's a, here. There's a gator toy. Stay wild. Oh, a gator toy. Oh my goodness. I think that's a manatee. So that's a gator oh. toy. Oh, say can you dinosaur. Wait, what? What? It's a cat in the hat. No. I'll get this one. Mom, look. Mom, feel the scales. Yeah? The little horse. You want a couple dinosaur books? Yeah, I wanted a toy. <laughs> well, we're not getting toys today because your birthday's coming up. Okay, he says he doesn't want the book, so I'm not going to get the book. All right, so I got some texture stuff from the store as well as some... Yeah, you've got one, finally. You've got one, but I, I want to try to see see it's ice cream, but it's dry. So I want to see if he'll try the flavor. <laughs> At home, okay? Is that to be sour? No, it's sweet. Oh. The popular things are the, is they pop in your mouth. They do pop in your mouth, yes. Yeah. Pop rocks. Yes, exactly. Alright, we're obviously back home and I've changed. Hi! I'm the Sparky Swift and I poisoned you. Oh. So, um, here's what we got. Let's show them. I ate one of these yeah. and they're very not good, but I, wait, yeah. I ate one of these. Ate that one. And then they were what? not good. You don't like it? No, and this one has astronauts on it. Yeah, they both do. But look, so this one is the vanilla ice cream sandwich. And then this so one. What is this one is the Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Um, and then these pop are, rocks. these are Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks! And they pop in your mouth, and they know that... 
Do you want to try them? Are they sour? Um, no, they're sweet at first. You want and to... then after they pop, they're like yeah. hurting your mouth. Yeah. So and let me tell them real quick. Calm down. Let me tell them real quick. It's been a hectic day. So he did try the vanilla ice cream sandwich. So this is what it looks like. Um, oh, it looks like an, ice, an actual vanilla ice cream sandwich. It's just freeze dried. He did try a little bit of it, but he, he didn't like it. So, but yeah. look. Hang on. Let me show the Wait, stop, stop, stop so they can hear it. Let's see if they can hear this. So, it's crunchy. Um, I mean, it's got flavors reminiscent of an ice cream sandwich, but not quite. <laughs> Mommy, can I have Pop Rocks? He wants to try some Pop Rocks, so let me open these. All right. One, one. Well, okay. One. Let's see. <laughs> I can do this. Just one. Well, they're like little, see, like that. Is that what you mean by one? Because that's one. I'm scared. Oh, did you eat it? Did you not eat it yet? I didn't eat it yet. No. Just don't watch me. No one watch me. <laughs> no one watches. Okay, hang on. Don't watch. Okay, you can watch. You can watch me. Okay, I want to. I want to try the watermelon ones. <laughs> Stop popping. Mm -hmm. These are good. You like them? Yeah, they're good. <laughs> I don't want too many because they might hurt me. Oh, I want okay. two. I want two now. He literally wants two little rocks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want two? Yeah, two. Well, I don't know if I can pour two. just two. Just two, 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 two. Here. Just two. Two. Okay, go for it. No, don't watch me. <laughs> okay, just myself. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. ow. <laughs> <laughs> They're poppy, huh? Eat them. Yeah, you like that. Three. Three. Three now. Oh, we're upgrading. <laughs> <laughs> three, three, three. Here we go. <laughs> Mine are still popping in my mouth. Two. Huh. And three. three. There you go. Okay. Mm. Ah! <laughs> it popped. Mm -hmm. It popped from my hand, too. Alright, so <laughs> that's gonna do it. <laughs> That's gonna do it. Oh my gosh. Thanks for hanging out with us at the museum. That is a lot. A lot. It's like, no, 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 no. Thanks for watching. Thanks yeah, for subscribing. Don't get poisoned. What? I'll get poisoned too. No, don't do that. Don't tell people that. He's pretending he's a poisonous dinosaur. Don't listen to him. No, I am a poisonous dino. I'm close. Exactly. I'm and I'm going to poison you. Thanks for I'm watching. You. Thanks for subscribing. I'll poison Thanks you. I'm for being awesome. You. I'm going to poison you. <laughs>